Hi guys, it's Miss Debbie from the Appomattox Regional Library System. And today I'm gonna to show you two different ways to make a fairy jar. Our first one is a glow-in-the-dark fairy jar. And for this one, you'll need glow-in-the-dark paint and just make little dots all over your jar. Now I messed up and got the wrong kind of glow-in-the-dark paint. You're going to want a glow-in-the-dark fabric paint because it holds its shape better and it doesn't run. So you're going to put little dots all over your jar starting at the bottom. You can do your jar all the same color or you can do a pattern or just random, but you wanna start at the lowest point in your jar and work your way to the top of your jar. When you get your jar completely covered, it's time to make the top. And for that, you're gonna cover it in glue and then you're going to cover it in glitter and this will make a pretty shiny top for your fairy jar. Next, you wanna leave it outside for at least 24 hours to dry and to charge in the sun. And that goes for both the jars you're gonna to make today. You're gonna to leave them outside for 24 hours to dry. Next, we're gonna make our fairy lantern. And to do this, you're gonna start by finding an image you like online of a fairy or another fantastical creature like a mermaid. And you want it to be a silhouette, so you want it to be all in black and preferably from the side, so it looks like there's a fairy flying in your jar. So you're gonna cut that out, and you may need a grown-up's help for this, but if you're really good with scissors, you can probably do it yourself. And once you get your fairy all cut out, just go around and make sure there's no white left showing, because that'll kind of throw off the image in the lantern. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cover our whole lantern with some glue, and you wanna do it kind of thin, so use a paintbrush. And then you're gonna use a craft stick or your paintbrush to make sure your fairy is up close against the edge of your jar. This step is very important because if you don't make sure your image is completely pressed against the jar, it won't show through when you add the glitter. Next, you can add the glitter and then keep adding more glue and more glitter until you get the coverage you want. You don't want it super thick because you won't be able to see your light shining through if you have it super duper thick with glitter. So you do want to leave a bit of empty space there to have the light shine through and make your glitter shine. Next, we're going to do the lid just like we did the other one. We're going to cover it in glue and then glitter and then we have our lid. Once again, we're gonna let our lantern dry outside for 24 hours just to make sure all the white is gone and it's just the beautiful glitter shining through. Finally, we're gonna add our tea lights to our lantern and then we're gonna screw the lid on top and we have a beautiful lantern that makes a great night light. I hope you guys enjoyed this craft and I hope you have a great weekend.